Hey everyone, John with KG Tropicals and KGTropicals.com. We're open. The store is open for business. Uh, well, it's open Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. But uh, it's been a while since I've done an update for you to show you what we got going on in here. Uh, so today is the day, Monday, January 21st. Uh, it's a holiday. I'm off of my other job. So I'm going to be in here doing some work that I can't do any other times because well, I'm working or we're open to the public. So I thought I would do an update for you to show you where we're at. Um, starting off here at the front of the store, you have seen this in my other video. If you haven't, you should go watch it. It's our 240 gallon African cichlid display tank. And then we did add since the last videos, these four tanks. I know the water is low. We're having a problem with the well. It got fixed the other day. I'm gonna take, the problem, take care of that later today that's why I'm here um, but uh, you know a little update on the counter there we I, I told you on the last video that was going to go out and we were going to use that for doing shipping and all that well we are but we're doing it right here now uh, that counter is serving as a fish bagging area and uh, packaging for shipping out fish to you um, and here we go with all of our aisles now the lighting uh, we put lights on all the tanks so that's going to kind of interfere with the video here, but uh, Lisa came in, painted the racks black. They look awesome. All the tanks are up and running. Um, we've added a couple of couple of 29-gallon tanks there underneath the 150, our South American display tank. There's the Red Devils that everybody was talking about in our in our video of that uh, of that tank. And then we've got. 229s down below it that uh, were kind of a last minute addition and a perfect place to put our red devils that are for sale and some black Oscars. They're in there. Well, what we've done here as far as the organization of the store, uh, we have all of our South Americans in this first rack. Yes, we are not only an African cichlid retailer now. We're selling South Americans as well. And we've got this whole rack here dedicated to that for now. Going to do a little bit of explaining here. Um, so both sides here, it's 24 tanks of, of all South Americans. We've got five different kinds of Oscars and some Jack Dempsey's and Fire Mounts and Green Terrors and Severums and all different kinds of stuff. We even have uh, electric blue Jack Dempsey's back there. And then like I told you in the last video, we've got our 255's and a 33 long up top that's kind of to keep everything in line and uh, we've got our breeders in there right now our peacock breeders are in the 55s they're loving it too because they were in 29s before and then we transition to here which this is where we start off with our African cichlids now you see a lot of goldfish we are selling more than just goldfish <laughs> we put the goldfish in there uh, for cycling of the tanks uh, it's a long story, but we thought we had everything straight, and then uh, we started running into some cycling issues. We've done everything from squeezing out old sponge filters into these tanks to substrates from other established tanks, all of the different uh, quick start chemicals and live bacteria and all of that, and we still ran into some issues with some of the tanks. Setting up 56 new tanks, it's going to happen, but it's under control now. Um, all of the tanks are, are starting to show algae and the fish are happy and everything's great so we're I think we're out of the woods as far as that goes but anyway when we move over to here uh, this is, is our haps uh, we brought in polystigmas, living stone eye, redfin borlei, frontosas, compressiceps we brought in all kinds of stuff uh, for this this rack here and then again 255s and a and a 33 with our breeders in it. We've got our sulfur heads, our bengas, and our regal blues up there. And they don't have a light yet, poor guys. This is another thing you didn't see last time was our 29s in place. Um, what we've done with these 29s is they're peacocks. These are all homebred peacocks in these four here of different sizes that we have available. More peacocks down at the bottom there got 820 or 820 longs down at the bottom move over to the other side it's a mirror image of of the other side and you can see 
the water is low in these tanks not because it evaporated but because we've been pulling a lot of fish out to sell to customers it's been exciting um, the response that we've gotten so far has been just completely overwhelming um, and then uh, again down here we have our four different varieties of plecos that we're selling bristlenose albino uh, standard plecos in all different sizes 255s those are our chiloella red shoulders this 55 here is actually male peacocks um, of all different strains available got our ACI breeders up there at the top and then we get to the rack that was not here last time and that is our 33s from over in the garage uh, again a lot of hats peacocks it's based on volume I mean we put ones that we have bigger groups of in the 33s instead of putting them in a 20 long and that's just you know be nice to them and then we have here the backdrop to a lot of my previous YouTube videos um, our 75 we're using it as an angel tank right now platinums black lace koi got all different kinds of angels in there really good size and prices that'll blow your mind and then we move into our rack that you did see last time uh, but we only had a couple tanks on it got uh, 27 10 gallon tanks uh, and these are going to be used for community fish but right now they're kind of a collect-all for a bunch of different stuff, but we do have some community fish in these tanks. Uh, mollies, fancy guppies. Um, then we move into kind of our place that we stuck all of the fish from the tanks that we're cycling. Nice little redfin borley eye here hanging out. Little guy, he's about two inches, two and a quarter or so. And so the 10 gallon tanks are very unorganized right now. Uh, we've just got a, a bunch of different stuff in them, uh, but you know, eventually they're all gonna be turned into community tanks. And then we've got six more 33s, again with the 55s and the 30 long, 33 long. And then once we get around to here, we've got our 15s that you saw last time and again 255s and our egg tumbler tank and that's kind of it for the for the tanks uh, in the store with the exception of the discus display that with the glare you're not going to be able to see anything but there's a video on that so go check it out and then this is our sales counter um, you know who cares about that right that's where you got to pay me <laughs> and then we do have one little rack here that we set up to be able to to offer the the essentials uh, we're not selling filters and, and heaters and lights and all that yet we will but for now we've got you know the chemicals and the food and and beta stuff everybody wants that so that's the store guys finally got you updated on what's going on the first we've been open for three weekends and uh the response has been unbelievable. Uh, another newspaper came here, did a uh, interview with us, and uh, and put it in the paper a couple days ago. And uh, we got a lot of people that walked in here just because they wanted to see what was going on. So that was that was exciting. We weren't expecting that, but this is our store. This is KG Tropicals in King George, Virginia. You see the sign right there. We put that out at the street when we're open so that when people drive by they see it they slam on their brakes and they turn around and they come back <laughs> and trust me we've gotten quite a few people that have told us that's exactly what they did so you can hear it my phone's ringing gotta get busy here's your update fellas and ladies so we'll do another one in the spring uh, of the warehouse when we get that situated with all of our breeders. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.